all about stars, a fun journey through the night sky. Join us as we dive into the fascinating world of stars. Learn what stars are made of, how they shine, and why they twinkle. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more space adventures. Hello, explorers. Welcome to Final Frontier, your gateway to the wonders of space. Today, we're going to learn all about stars. Buckle up because it's going to be a star-studded adventure. First, what exactly are stars? Stars are giant balls of burning gas that produce light and heat. The closest star to us is the sun, which gives us the warmth and light we need to live. Stars are made mostly of hydrogen and helium, and their incredible heat and pressure cause nuclear reactions that produce energy. How do stars shine? Stars shine because of a process called nuclear fusion. In the core of a star, hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing a huge amount of energy in the form of light and heat. This energy travels from the star's core to its surface and then out into space, where we can see it as starlight. Why do stars twinkle? When you look up at the night sky, stars seem to twinkle because of Earth's atmosphere. The light from stars passes through layers of air that are constantly moving. This movement bends the light in different directions, making the stars appear to twinkle. Planets, which are closer to Earth, usually shine with a steadier light. Did you know that stars come in different colors? The color of a star depends on its temperature. Hotter stars are blue or white, while cooler stars appear red or orange. Our sun is a yellow star, which means it's somewhere in the middle in terms of temperature. Stars are born in giant clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. Over millions of years, gravity pulls the gas and dust together to form a protostar. As the protostar becomes denser and hotter, nuclear fusion begins and a new star is born. Stars don't live forever. They go through a life cycle that includes being born, shining for millions or even billions of years, and eventually dying. The way a star dies depends on its size. Smaller stars, like our sun, will expand into red giants and then shed their outer layers, leaving behind a white dwarf. Larger stars may explode in a supernova, leaving behind a neutron star or a black hole. Stars are grouped into constellations. Constellations are patterns of stars that form shapes in the night sky. People have been naming and telling stories about constellations for thousands of years. Some famous constellations include Orion, the Big Dipper, and Cassiopeia. Ever wondered how we know so much about stars? Astronomers use telescopes to observe stars and gather information about them. They study the light from stars to learn about their temperature, composition, and movement. This field of science is called spectroscopy. Stars also come together to form galaxies. A galaxy is a huge collection of stars, gas, and dust bound together by gravity. Our solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy, which has billions of stars. There are also other types of galaxies, like spiral, elliptical, and irregular galaxies. Exploring the world of stars helps us understand more about the universe and our place in it. If you enjoyed this stellar journey, please like, comment, and subscribe to Final Frontier for more amazing space explorations. Keep your curiosity alive, and until next time, keep looking up at the stars. Remember, explorers, the universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you on our next adventure. Thank you.